Welcome to this much, much longer series of videos that I'm doing. As I am speaking to you right now, it is Wednesday, September 18th, 2019. I have no idea how many videos this is gonna wind up being. I have no idea how long I'm about to talk for. Uh, and I have no idea when those videos are actually gonna go up. So uh, you might be watching this well into the future for me, or rather I am in the past for you. This is not scripted. Uh, I have vague notes about what I wanna talk about, but uh, this is basically a podcast that is just filming, happens to be filming my face. Uh, I would literally just make this a podcast if I knew how to make a podcast, but I don't, and I wanna get this out quickly, so YouTube it is. Uh, I recommend that you guys just kind of listen to it in the background or something. If you watch it at all, I'm not sure I actually recommend anyone watch this ever. Um, but all right, let's 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 talk about why I'm doing this. Uh, last night, th this, this is kind of an impulsive thing that I'm doing. This is a really impulsive thing I'm doing. I had the idea to do all of this last night, like Tuesday, Tuesday night. I had the idea to do all of this because... Um, I had a therapy appointment tomorrow. Tomorrow from the perspective of yesterday, which is to say today. I had a therapy appointment and I was kind of thinking to myself, how, what am I gonna say to my therapist? How have things been going exactly? And why have they been going that way? And I was thinking about my life in general and I was thinking about how it's generally pretty good, but I haven't been working on my videos at all. And that I feel really not great about that. And I was thinking about how that describes the last like six years. Not exactly, because I, I scraped by in middle school and high school. My first year of college, it was absolutely awful and I failed basically all of my classes. It's only a slight exaggeration. And it's honestly shocking to me that they didn't kick me out sooner. That was when I was 18, I am 23 now. Ever since then, my life has been very steadily, very slowly, but very steadily, Actually, not very steadily. My life has been slowly improving. Uh, and there have been setbacks, but the general trend has been upward. Um, a big point is that uh, I'm back in school now. Um, this is basically my third attempt at college, and I'm doing a lot better than either of the previous attempts. This has certainly lasted longer than either of my previous attempts at college. The point is that my school work has gotten better, but I have not managed to work on my videos any more consistently than I did in high school. My videos are still very sporadic. Sometimes I manage to work on it really hard for a little while and I come out with a bunch. And sometimes I can't bring myself to work on it for months at a time. But it's always just been distressing to me. It's, I, I realized that I have a lot of fun making videos. I've always had a lot of fun making videos, but even though I have all this fun making videos, I always feel like I should be doing more. Like, it doesn't actually take me all that much time to make these videos. Um, when I tried to be, in the year of 2017, I tried to be self-employed, and that wasn't crazy because I had enough time in the day to like make it a career. But being self-employed and being your own boss and making yourself work that much is actually really hard and I wasn't cut out for it. Even though I haven't been working on linguistics videos, even though I the, the linguistics channel has been in suspended animation for a while now, despite that, I've my attention basically shifted to my secondary channel because I had a whole bunch of ideas for linguistics videos, but I had even more ideas for videos about other things and videos that had other kinds of structures. So I decided to make videos about that. I decided to make videos about other things. And I told myself it was just for fun. And I told myself I didn't really care if they got big. And I just wanted to make videos about other stuff. But I always kind of wanted them to get big. I always kind of, like, I, I gave up temporarily on being self-employed and being a full-time YouTuber. I gave up on that temporarily at the end of 2017. But I never, like, really gave up on it. Like, that was always kind of a long-term ambition. My therapist has this way of talking about things in terms of acceptance and accepting where you are now. And she never, like, explicitly says it, but it just kind of pervades the way she talks and it, like, seeps into my brain a little bit. And 
I feel like the general idea is, it's something I've heard explicitly articulated elsewhere, and it's an idea that I think makes a lot of sense and has a lot of explanatory power, and that is that there's this interesting kind of unintuitive phenomenon, almost a paradox, where when people feel really crappy about their life and about something about themselves, they are actually less likely to work to improve it. This is why fat shaming doesn't work. When you tell people that they're disgusting because they're fat, it doesn't motivate them to get thin. They probably wanted to be thin already, but what happens when we feel bad right now, our brain tries to be like, what will make us feel good right now? And usually that is not what makes you happy in the long run. It's only when you're satisfied in the moment. It's only when you feel like things are basically okay right now that your brain starts going, okay, how can I keep this going? How can I make my life good in the long run? And I think that's why my therapist and lots of other people talk about acceptance. I think that's a big reason why fat acceptance is a thing, because if you feel terrible about your body or if you feel terrible about your life, you wind up just trying to figure out how to feel good right then. Whereas if you feel like your life is basically fine and if you feel like your body is okay and that people can love you with the body you have right now, which they can, it's a lot easier to have empathy for future you and to, like when you right now isn't in crisis, you can start thinking about other people around you and also the person that you're gonna become weeks or months or years down the line. I've been thinking about that um, in terms of my videos because what I realized is that I haven't felt okay with my life ever, maybe? Like, uh, I, I might have felt okay about my life my junior year of high school, which was like about the same year I started making my YouTube videos. Um, I might have felt basically okay with my life then, but in the, I think it's seven years since then, in that whole time, I have felt just really fundamentally unsatisfied with my life. Fundamentally, like, my life is not acceptable the way it is. And a big, big reason for that is my YouTube channel. Now, there have been other things. It's hard to feel like things are basically okay when you're failing all of your classes. So getting better at schoolwork was a prerequisite for me getting here. But now that I'm here, it's like, it's a lot easier for me to see that thinking about my videos this much was kind of making me miserable. Like, I became moderately internet famous when I was 17. I'm 23 now. I, my entire adult life thus far has been spent as a moderately internet famous person. And I've been realizing that my identity has kind of gotten tied up in that a little bit. If it, if it sounds like I'm saying that like being famous is awful, I want to, like, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I, I know YouTubers, I, I know other YouTubers, mostly one, who, you know who you are, who aren't really in it for the fame, who just, all, who just kind of make the videos for themselves and also kind of as a career, and the fame doesn't bother them that much. But for me, it is really, really validating to work hard on something and then put it out there and have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people watching it and enjoying it and liking it and commenting on it and saying what they think. Like, that, that is, that feels amazing to me. It especially felt amazing when I was 17. Um, and I've had six years of that. It's worn off a little bit, but it's still really there. It still feels really good. That's honestly part of the problem. It's really hard for me to pull myself away from that. It's, I, I, was, I was sitting on the floor last night, staring up at the ceiling, and I was thinking to myself, what if I just never made a video again? And what would that be like? What would my life be like? And I started, it, it provoked feelings in me I basically never feel. I was lying there thinking, what if I just never made a video again? And I started thinking, who am I then? If I'm not Zidnaf, if I just, if I just go back to being Andy, then like, wh who, who the hell is Andy? I know who Zidnaf is. Who, like, 
what, what is the point of anything if I'm not making YouTube videos? And I hate, I realized that I was asking those questions and I was very frustrated because I hate those questions. I hate those questions so much because like, it, it's kind of like, what is, what is the point of anything? What does that mean? What is the point of a rock? What is the point of a tree? They, they don't have a point. They're just there. They just exist. What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of the sky? Just what? The, the, quest, the questions are meaningless and they have no answers, which made it very frustrating that I found myself asking them. It reminded me a lot of that XKCD where the guy is like, if the question, what is the meaning of life is itself meaningless, then why do I keep coming back to it? I wish like in that comic, I had people uh, to just come and like squirt me with super soakers like like happened there. But instead I just kind of sat there thinking about it and I, I kind of reevaluated my whole relationship with YouTube for the first time in years. I realized that overall it wasn't making me happy. I realized that I felt like making YouTube videos was kind of my calling, like it was my the my purpose in life. I don't make that many videos at all. So like Making videos is my purpose in life, and I'm being, I'm doing a terrible, terrible job at it. And I realized that's how, that's basically how I felt ever since I started this. Like, not once have I felt like I was making enough videos. Not once have I had the upload schedule I want. Not once have I been making it fast enough. Not once have I been doing enough research, have I been putting enough effort into this. It has always been unacceptable to me. I have always had a purpose in my life. And like, since I was 17, I've always had a purpose and I've always been failing at that purpose. And I was sitting there realizing that like, that's not acceptable. Like, I, I can't allow that. I would rather never make a YouTube video again than keep living like that. But I also thought about it for a while and I realized that like, I do kind of want to still want to make YouTube videos. Like I reevaluated everything and I was like, I don't want to throw out everything, but I do at least, I do at least need to stop for a while. And I, I know it sounds really silly. I've made like, I've made very, very few videos the past couple years. So it seems really ridiculous for me to say that like, I need a break, but this whole time, the past six years, the whole time, from when I was in high school, up through all of these changes in my life up, and up till now, the whole time, I was always trying to make more videos. I, was all, I always wanted to be making more videos. I was always trying to do other things so that I would have, all, always the point was so that I would have more time to make more videos. Uh, so the fact that there are so few videos tells you a lot about how well my life has been going for the past six years, honestly. Yeah, I realized I do still want to make videos. I do still enjoy it. Even if no one, well, I wouldn't put them online if I didn't want anyone to see them. I do, I do like the feedback. I like, I like the, I like it when the number of likes, I like it when that number goes up. Uh, I get a little, little hit of dopamine every time those numbers tick up. And I like every single little comment, every, the, the dumb ones, the trolly ones, the inane ones, the supportive ones, the sappy ones. I like, I like all of them. If I am able to, I want to go back to that. I want to learn things and tell the internet the things I learned. And I wanna write cool words about it. I wanna condense it into a little pithy video and make fun looking illustrations to go along with it. I, I enjoy doing that, but I need to learn how to live with myself without it. And I've never really tried that before as an adult. I've never tried having this audience and putting it away and doing nothing with it and let, letting them go on with their lives without trying to show them anything else. I'm, there's still gonna be a lot of problems in my life and things about my behavior that I wanna fix, but I think if I put YouTube videos to the side, I might be able to feel like how I am right now is basically fine. And I wanna feel that. I wanna feel that for maybe the first time. And that's why I'm doing this, but a big thing that is necessary before I can do that. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's something I want to do because I was thinking, I, I have all of these ideas for videos. I've actually been working uh, a lot on videos about economics the past few months. I've been learning a lot about economics because I want to make videos about economics. And I was like, I can't just not do anything with that. Like I have all of these plans. I, I have all of these plans for videos. I can't just, I can't just forget about them. And the thought occurred to me that I've built up a lot of interesting stuff. I've built up 
a lot of interesting thoughts, interesting things to talk about, interesting facts. I could just like, I could just gather it all together and just vomit it at the camera <laughs> for anyone who wants to hear me talk about it because that video I did a little while back about like, do democracies make people happier? A lot of people seemed to like that. And I was like, I'll bet at least a few people out there would like to hear me just take all of these vague, unformed ideas for videos that I have and listen to me just talk about the interesting things I know and like why I wanted to make these videos. And that could scratch a lot of the itch that I have of like, I have all of these ideas, I need to get these out there. That could, like, if I do that, it could give maybe a little bit of closure for me for all of these projects that I'm working on. So anyway, that's what I'm doing in this video. That's, that's what I'm doing in all of these videos, because I don't know how long it's going to be. This is really low tech. I'm recording this on my iPhone. I'm recording this with a uh, cardboard handmade little camera stand that I made to hold up my iPhone in the right position. There's no extra lighting here. All of the light is just, all of the light is just coming in from, from the glass door over there, from the outside. There's no extra lighting here. This is, this is super low tech just cause I, I just have all these thoughts and I wanted to get them out as quickly and efficiently as possible so that I can like move on with my life and try to live a life without YouTube, at least for a little bit. So if that's something you're interested in, if listening to me ramble about interesting things sounds remotely interesting to you, uh, welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. My mouth's already getting a little dry and I have so much to talk about because th there's so many ideas I have, there's so many thoughts I have, there's so many things that I've learned that I wanna tell the internet and it's gonna take a long time to get much of it out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all of it tonight. I'm gonna try to, but I don't know. We'll find out. I'm gonna get a little bit of water.